Hello Community Church, this is Randy and this week we're continuing our Amazing Grace series as we talk about God's grace and what it does for us, what it, um, what it means to us. And this week we're talking about how grace inspires us. Um, another word for that might be motivates. Grace motivates us to be who who God has called us to be. 1 Corinthians 15 uh, verses 1 through 11. You might want to read that in the lead up to Sunday, but specifically in verse 10. In verse 10, Paul says, uh, it is by God's grace that I am who I am. And, and this was not without effect. And uh, he's talking about how he's an individual person inspired by God's grace. He says that he worked harder than any of the other apostles because of his motivation um, that was inspired by the grace of God in his life. In Romans chapter 12, we read that we should offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. And it says that we should do that in view of God's mercy, in light of what God has done for us. We should give from that surplus that God has given us. It says that this is our true and proper act of worship. Um, we're tempted, I think, at times in, in light of the grace of God to sit back and say, you know, well, I've got God's grace, so I'm good. I can, I can relax and I can, um, you know, do the stuff I want to do and, and hang out on the sidelines. And that is the opposite of what Scripture tells us to do. Grace should inspire us to get out there and and do stuff for God and to do stuff um, in light of what God has done for us. Uh, a couple examples from my own life uh, journey. A couple decades ago, I was uh, playing guitar at a summer camp, right? I was, I was singing Country Roads and the rest of the, the John Denver songbook with a bunch of kids. And that was fun and it was, um, it was good and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I had just started attending community church um, and there was a need. Somebody uh, asked me if maybe I could go help out with the youth band. There was a youth group at the time that had some kids that were uh, aspiring musicians and they needed an adult in the room basically to help out. And at that point I, I decided, you know what, I have this, this talent, this ability that God's given me to, to play guitar at least moderately okay. and. Um, they need someone and I can do it. And, and this is a, an opportunity that God has given me. And I started helping out with the youth band. Um, here we are a couple decades later. I'm, I'm the worship pastor at Community Church. And uh, that has grown clearly from um, that initial kind of effort on my part to step a little bit out of my comfort zone and, and um, you know, act on the grace act on the talent that God, had, that God has given me in, in my life. Um, outside of church, uh, most of you know that I, I dabble in wildlife photography, nature photography. Um, it's, been, it's been a hobby for a long time, it's been a passion for a long time, and it's, it's grown into something bigger um, lately as I continue to make an effort to um, showcase this amazing natural world that, that God has given us and I truly see that as an act of worship. If I can go out and, and capture uh, something that, that most people don't get to see and I can show people this amazing creation that, that God has given us. It is, it is God's grace that has given me the ability with a camera to go and, and do that and it is my responsibility I feel to go and use that um, in an effort to show other people this amazing world that God has created for us. Um, that's kind of what we're talking about this week, is using what God has given us. And we're all different. We all have different talents and abilities. We all have different um, opportunities. We all have different skill sets that God has given us in His infinite wisdom. Um, and it is our, it's our joy to be able to go out and, and use those things and do those things to bring God glory and to uh, further the kingdom. So hopefully you can come to church this week uh, prepared to hear about how God's grace can and should inspire us to get out and act and to um, 
do something with what he has given you. Uh, this week we're going to talk about how God's grace inspires us. So read that, read that passage in 1 Corinthians. Look at the first part of Romans chapter 12 and um, consider what it is that you might have that you can, that you can uh, give or that you can do, that you can act on. Because God's grace should instill in us a desire to respond, should motivate us to uh, get out and do for the kingdom. So hope to see you Sunday and have a great week.